So guys, I am back with another Power World video. And today, guys, I want to talk a little bit about how you can ruin your base, like I've done. Completely ruin the outside of my base. You won't believe it when you see it's so bad. Uh, I want to talk about the misconception of Power World being dead. I'm seeing a couple of other bigger YouTubers who are spamming out that content on this game when it was more popular than what it is now. But now I've resorted to stating the game's dead. Obviously, negativity drives those views. People love negativity. And when it's a big game like Power World, which was absolutely massive, what, a month ago, doesn't have the player base, it still does, because that kind of game, people seem to just put out the message that the game's dead. It's far from the truth. And we'll talk about that too. But let's go, guys. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so you've probably got, as you've seen my base, I mean, it's changed quite a lot. This is what it originally looked like. You're seeing it on the screen now. This is like two layers at a, a, a bottom layer and a top layer. This is two bases put together, by the way, side by side. So I can have them literally interconnected and that's how it was. And I made a floor above for brooding so I could brood away. I then changed it into like a enormous castle. Which I kind of like the look of, I'm not going to lie. I love the look of it. But it was just unnecessary. I didn't need it this big. I just built it because I was bored and I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to build it. And then, guys, which you'll see me right now, let's cut back to where I'm at. I broke it all down. I broke down the entire castle. And look what I'm left with. Oh, people, prepare to rub your eyes. It's so bad. <laughs> look. Look at this shiz. Look at it. What these are, these are wall ivy decorations I put on the um, the gates and walls. But the thing is, although you attach them to walls, they don't break down with them. So it took me about a good two hours to break this down. And I'm left with this. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it, people. You can't break these down. I mean, it's so bad. I'll show. It's just. It's just. I don't understand. Let's just uh, build up, and I'll show you what I mean. So, do not make this mistake, guys. Do not make this mistake, guys. Come on, build up. What the hell is going on here? There we go. Let's just go up, and I'll show you what I mean. You just can't dismantle them. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, there's a lot of fiber wasted here, which I ain't bothered about. Fiber's fiber. Fiber's so easy to get, but the fact you can't break these down is doing my absolute nothing. I'm thinking of just dismantling this entire base, guys. And then um, building somewhere else and never coming back over here. I'm not even joking. That's what I've got to now. I've got to like that now because I just can't deal with it. I legit can't deal with it. Like I said, I've reported it in-game a couple of times. Now, if you look here... So, look, you cannot break it down. It just doesn't highlight. I break that down. Nothing happens. I've tried building walls back up on it. Nope. Nothing happens, guys. So, yeah, if you have any suggestions from me or anyone else that may have suffered with something like this, because I know people out there will have. It's a pain in the ass. So, that's how it was. These were are built up. And then when you break it down, nothing happens. It just stays there absolute nightmare absolute it's just how it's just so horrible i mean the floating campfires i can break down that's not an issue i can break them down quite easily but i just thought you know what i can't even be bothered i really can't even be bothered people what? so yeah don't make that mistake do not make that mistake i mean like i said it took me hours i should have left the castle up i should have left the castle up i don't know what i was thinking of breaking down i thought you know what I'm just going to make it a little simpler. And it's got to a point now where I'm just thinking this base has got to come down. The entire thing has got to come down. As much as I love it, and if you haven't seen it properly, if it's the first time you're seeing it, it well, it was two bases side by side. But now I've actually changed it. It's now three bases side by side. So if we go out here, inside is, well, this side's just basically my, this is where I do all my crops. This side's my crops. Uh, upstairs his entirety is just full on brooding right the way across. 
Uh, this is like my workstations where I've got my mining pits, my lumbering pits. Um, the workstations right across there. And again, up here, guys, is just brooding. Right the way across is pure brooding. So yeah, I've got about 15 brooding pens, which is more than enough for me. And across here, we have an outside farm. So it's actually now three bases side by side. So if you see this, there we go. One, two, three bases side by side. Have I gone out the wrong door? I have gone out the wrong door because I'm an idiot. Let's go across here. This is another bug they need to fix as well, people. That right there. Can't get through it. Now the door's open. You have to open and close it again. But yeah, this is just an outside farming area. I mean, I've got to a point now. I've got so many materials. I don't need a third base, like a mining base or anything like that. And plus, because i got Astagon, who is this dude right here. He's probably the best mining pan in the game. If I ever need or I literally just jump on him, guys. Go to surrounding all rocks. And then destroys them instantly on the spot. And there we go. Now I'm over encumbered. But hey, I must drop all this because I don't need it. I got that much. Oh, I don't really need it, guys. So yeah, we drop half of that. Just like so. So yeah. Don't make that mistake, people. <laughs> it's so bad to look at. It's doing my absolute heading. What a mistake I've made there. So you can see my base without it looks pretty cool like i said full up top is pure breeding outside farming area inside farming area in oh shit burning there get off my jet wagon then so yeah inside is just like a, a warehouse <laughs> but yeah i'm so disappointed hopefully they fix it and give us methods of dismantling that so now guys let's talk about the game the game itself now power world has lost last time i checked i think like 85 percent of his overall player base um and i've seen a lot of videos from these bigger content creators as well which have all of a sudden just moved away from power world now the views in as 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 well what they were have all of a sudden stopped stopped posting on it i won't do that i still enjoy the game i'm still enjoying my brooding and this that and the other but yeah i ain't gonna resort to negativity either well, I'm seeing a lot of videos now saying Power World's dead. A lot of posts, Reddit posts, Twitter posts, Facebook posts, and the game's dead. No, it ain't. This is like, it's one of those games that once you complete it and do what you got to do, you come back to it at a later date. That's what you do. A lot of people will get to the end, catch all the pals. They ain't fussed about brooding. They beat all the tower bosses and think, you know what? Once they release new content, release more pals, release more brooding mechanics, things like this, we'll come back and play it again. I can guarantee you with the next content update, this game's going to thrive again. I think there's still like 200,000, 300,000 concurrent players. I think that's on PC as I make this video. And also I know there's problems on Xbox too. A lot of players can't play it properly because of save issues, crashes whenever they do anything. Every like 15 minutes some people are just constantly crashing. This and other. So there's plenty of work for a uh, pocket pair to do to get the game they good enough state before they actually drop that content which i think they will do anyway they fix this game before they drop the content uh which which what would expect that to be honest with me you can't drop uh brand new content again that's broke because players are just gonna be upset even worse than what they are now i mean if you <laughs> if they don't drop like that content roadmap content she's of all the new powers and the pvp arenas and stuff like that and um, the game's still bust on, P on Xbox. Players will, will be an absolute uproar. There'll be an absolute uproar. So yeah, I expect the game to be fixed before any new content comes out. But that's the thing. It's one of those games where people will do what they've got to do. They'll catch all them pals. They'll beat all the bosses. They'll do a bit of breeding here and there. And they'll just move along until another game comes, uh, until more content comes out. Also, there's how divers. How divers. Um, a lot of uh, power players are playing how divers too. I myself, I'm actually playing how divers too. Although I ain't as big on it as I'm seeing many other players are. Some people are so addicted. I ain't. I mean, I play it for about two hours a day, maybe, and I get relatively bored. I'm not gonna lie. I do play solo because that's just my kind of thing. Uh, but I just get I get bored. It's just the same thing over and over. I understand the mechanics around it. 
what drives it, what drives players to be addicted to it. I understand that. I mean, I've played a, a life service game many in the past. Destiny being the main one. But, uh, yeah, I see the draw to it, but it, it ain't pulled me in as much as, um, as other players. I think it needs a lot more in regards to what it offers the player to keep the longevity of it going. But, yeah, the same with Power World, to be honest. But Power World, I can see... I can see the feats, just I can see the content, I can see what they can do to this game to evolve it, to make it even better. And I think Pocket Pair will do that. I think it's going to take time. Until that time comes, I think it will drop off its players. I think players will leave. Um, but as soon as that new content does come, guys, mark my words, this game will thrive again. So yeah, although what this, I think 80% of players have gone, I guarantee you 60% of them are returning as soon as new content comes that is an absolute fact but yes they do need to fix the issues that are on xbox no doubt about that i get i guarantee you people in the comment section well actually the comment section of every update video i do on this game there is always people complaining about it on xbox and the way it runs i've got friends myself who play this on xbox and so many issues so yeah hopefully they sort it out the game's far from dead don't listen to this look at the state of that Look at the state of that base. You can actually see like the uh, how it used to be a castle. Or it's just so I can't even look at it. It's making me just want to turn off the game. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on Powered, its current state. Uh, what you're doing, you're still playing it. Are you waiting for new content like a lot of players? Let me know down below, my beautiful people. But yes. Don't make that mistake. Hopefully, they fix it. Because I can't deal with it sooner or later. And hopefully, guys, I also see you on that next video. Peace out, people. Peace out.